got a hookup. Uh, trainer to the stars. Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. And this is Gregory Jamaili von Liebestock. I am an IKFF certified kettlebell coach and I want to provide you with some serious constructive feedback while reacting to Jack Black getting jacked with kettlebells. I want to eat whatever the f I want. Yes. But still be mother ripped. Is that possible? Sort of. One of the tricks that I do is I take all the food that I would normally eat in that whole 14 hour day and I shove it down into eight hours. The coach is defining the IF method, the so-called intermittent fasting diet. It is very hot right now and it comes with your typical rule set of do this and don't do that. I'd rather recommend a good habit-based coaching program instead of your typical diet that includes do's and don'ts. And it's really just like a drug. I need my f***ing fix. Yes. Really, instead of being here, I should probably be at Overeaters Anonymous because I have a problem. And uh, now I'm gonna f cry. Food addiction is real. If your coach notices that you're suffering from a real and true food addiction, he's supposed to refer you out. The hardest thing to deal with is always food, so that's usually the thing we deal with last. Yeah. Because that is the thing that people are least likely to alter in any way in the first six months of training. Dealing with nutrition last, just because it's a complicated subject, is lazy from the coach's perspective. Helping people change their eating habits can and should be tackled parallel to your workout program. This way, you and your coach can work as efficient as possible time and money-wise. Start teaching you a series of useful skills that you don't need me to continue on with so that you can permanently change the way that you think about exercise over time. Kudos to the coach, this is great stuff. A good personal trainer is keen on teaching you all the necessary skills that you can do on your own without you needing his supervision anymore. Right, we're gonna start with the simplest one first, kettlebell swings, because it's the most useful thing you, anybody will ever teach you. Actually, the kettlebell swing is not that easy to learn. It's a ballistic movement that needs a lot of coaching and skill if you want to learn the proper technique. Uh, my, my feet are flat. We are going to get rid of that entirely. Really? Totally. All yes. Right, cool. In adults, flat feet usually remain permanently flat. Therapy and exercise usually address the symptoms rather than a cure. I get back like a football. We're going to stand all the way up. Good, set it all the way down. Good, not bad for our first set of swings. If you do kettlebell swings for the first time, they look bad. And you don't have to be scared of this. The coach's instruction in this case, however, is not that adequate. Jack is doing a so-called squat swing, which isn't bad form per se. It's a variation of the swing, which I would recommend you to learn after you've perfected the original version. The swing is a hip dominant movement, and it's the coach's job to teach you the correct hip hinge without you bending your knees. You want to keep your arm connected to your body as long as possible. Use your trunk as a surface where you can rest your arms on. This will make sure that you can focus your attention on your hips during the kettlebell swing because your arms won't fatigue as fast. Keeping your arm connected to your body as long as possible also releases tension and stress from your lower back. The easiest way to get abs is to make your abs fire involuntarily. Make your abs fire involuntarily. What? Maybe not the easiest, but the only way to make your abs visible is to improve your diet. Simple as that. There is no exercise that makes your abdominal muscles visible. You can make them stronger, of course, but not visible. So it's gonna be down, up, down, up. Here we go. Down, up, down, one. The way he counts the clean is kind of strange. This is more of a hand-to-hand -hand swing into a clean. When tackling the clean, it is a good thing to learn a proper hand insertion first. Interestingly, this coach, Mark, has a video about it, but unfortunately, he doesn't teach it to Jack. Or maybe he does teach it, but it's not included in the video. Tiny bit of lightheadedness. Is, is this allowed what I'm doing right now where totally. I lean against the wall? Totally. So Sometimes you gotta just lean up against the brick wall. Doesn't mean you're weak. Doesn't mean I give up. Just means this is a part of the routine. This is a real thing. Kettlebells will get you gassed as fast as possible. If you've never worked with a kettlebell, I'll guarantee you, it'll burn you 
instantly. You can get lightheaded pretty fast with the kettlebell, and this is serious, so always make sure you go step by step. Don't go too hard, don't go too intense, or you'll be laying on the floor looking like this. <laughs> always start slow and don't overexert yourself. So you pick up like this, twist it to there, yes. and then keep it like that? It rotates to be palm flat to the oh, mirror. Okay. Rotating the palm flat to the front is a bad overhead fixation technique. It puts a lot of stress and a lot of pressure on your triceps. Try keeping your thumbs facing backwards. This will load the kettlebell on your joints and release tension from your muscles so you don't fatigue as fast. There, okay, it's a great squat. Stand up. One. Two, this isn't even necessary, you're totally fine. I really don't know why he's using the stick, but keeping the kettlebell that far out from your body will create tension for your shoulders. Try keeping the belt tucked to your body so you can release tension from your shoulders and focus on your glutes and your hips. First, probably five sessions are always a little bit of experiment. We have no clue what's going on. This one seems edited out of place because if the coach is serious, I'd really be worried. Your coach should always have a strategy and a plan mapped out for the sessions you're booking him for. If you choose to go for a full kettlebell workout program, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Peace out.